All right, coming up next, it's a flyweight matchup between John Dodson and Ray Borg. Is for my money, Michael, the most well rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Or tail the tape for this flyweight fight. Dodson is eight years his senior. Borg is one inch taller. Dodson will have a three inch reach advantage. And now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 13 wins, five losses. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, Ray, the Tez Mexican Devil, Ford. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, 12 losses. He stands five feet three inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, John the Magician Dotson. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Bergliotta. Dan Mergliata, your referee. You ready? You ready? All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to... Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And he landed the right hand there. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Just misses with the right. Nice kick landed there by Bull. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked though by Dodson. Some nice back and forth action here. Touched by that kick to the body. 
big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Just misses there with the left. Oh, here comes the counter, just out of range. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Oh, he heard a battle of the jab. Oh, good job defensively to block the strike there by John Dodson. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for John Dodson. Nice punch land. Five seconds remain in the round. Oh, strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver oh. down. Final seconds of round one. Oh. Round two straight ahead. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight, with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Look at the turnover in that kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. So 31 total strikes have now landed for John Dodson. Well, and still connecting on a pretty good clip, DC. 45% accuracy thus far against Ray Bull. Looked like he might have... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Real nice body to play. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Dodson gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Oh, is that a huge kick to the body or what? Landed a big kick there. He has a commitment to kick it tonight in his show. Oh, perfect timing on the Superman punch. 90 seconds now to go in round two. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Oh, strong punch there by Bull. Whiffs on the right hand. Less than a minute now to go in round two. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. 30 seconds to go. 
20 seconds left. Oh. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Entertaining like scrap so far. No telestrator for the champ tonight, but that's okay. He'll still talk you through the replays. Body kicks for days, man. I mean, body kicks for days, but I gotta be honest, John. If we don't incorporate a telestrator uh -huh. into this game, this may be my only version of EA UFC. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Uppercut attempt does not get to the target. Nice job defensively there by Bull. Left-right combo is good. Big leg kick lands. All right, time to hit the Sunoco station. Both of these fighters are on empty. This looks like when I played video games as a seven-year-old. <laughs> I didn't do nothing but butt mashing. You two guys have butt mashed to the point that neither one of you can find a knockout. You better hope your parents are walking the room and watch you guys be that fatigued. This is embarrassing. Learn to play the game. 53 total strikes have now landed for John Dodson. And in terms of the connection rate, the accuracy of the strikes, 35% against Ray Bull. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. <laughs> nice punch by Dodson. Under two minutes to go in our third and final round. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. Whiffs on the straight right hand. One minute now to go in our third and final round. Trying to go to the point. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that pick. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Whiffs on that offering. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Back to the leg kick now, that one's no good. All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 30-27. Playing the winner by unanimous decision, John the Magician! not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him at our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted to finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you can control, and that's fight to the best of your ability. He did exactly that tonight.
All right, coming up next, it's a UFC flyweight division matchup. in their UFC careers thus far. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded, they have every skill, and that is gonna be on display tonight in this key matchup. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. What a punch. Trying to double up on that jab. Body kick lands right under the elbow. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. He lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Oh, he lands Whoa! another shot in the head. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. A stiff punch there, nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, nice jab. And that one certainly found the target. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. You gotta check. Low leg kick. Beautiful strike. Lands flush with that right hand. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Right punches there. Just a slip there. Straight right hand, no good. Effective punch there by Smoker. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block a shot that's incoming. Right hand upstairs. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Round four in there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. Punch land. Big kick. The right hand just misses. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Oh, good job.
job defensively there to block the strike by Smoker. starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Good punch land. Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. Big kick lands. Oh, like the thought there. Good attempt at a counter. Ultimately, it's no good. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice body kick right on the elbow. Just misses with the jab. Put your hands up higher. Come on. Nice leg kick land. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. And both guys really throwing with authority. Twenty seconds left to go in round two. Nice kick. Oh! Oh! Look at his hands in. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up. Oh, that is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. He missed with that jab attempt there. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Plus, right hand is true. Well, a lot of fighters say there's no worse feeling on fight night than when your cardio abandons you, and there's been a lot of output in this fight, but both of these men are absolutely nuts. They both fought very hard, but after round one, you saw one guy's cardio say, good night, guys, and in the second round, you saw the other guy, good night, guys. Now they're left with no cardio, and there's gonna be a question of will and determination, and that's gonna be who wins the fight. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Set the pace and hit him first. Missed with that right hand. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Down defensively, blocks the shot. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now.
just out of range with that strike. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Big power shot there. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's gotta go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you gotta think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest for 928. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Brandon Wanda! All right, so there he is, the celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight, was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by unanimous decision. And you've got to feel good about that. You've got to feel good about dominating every aspect of a fight and getting a victory. He should be very proud of his performance tonight. Next, a UFC flyweight division matchup. Ready. as MMA fans. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Oh! Big knee to the body, man alive! Ah, that jab hurt him. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Just misses with that one. Under three minutes now to go in round one. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. What a body kick. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Beautiful punch. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Just out of range with that right hand. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. So just over 20 total strikes. And now landed for Davison Figueredo. Let's go. Let's get that takedown now. 
45 seconds remain in the round. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Oh, oh he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Nice punch lands over the top. How about oh, those God. five minutes? So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Defense there as he blocks the shot. Well, he's got the reach advantage. He might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that chip. Oh, man. <laughs> you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. Back to the feet. Soften him up. Slips to avoid that left. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Nice straight punch. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here. Oh, oh. Offering up over the top. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Oh! Big kick lands. 20 seconds left to go in round two. 10 seconds remain in round two. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. Oh! Whoa! Two strike lands there, 
there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on. Oh! He's out! He's done, he's done! What a fight! A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So, just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night, he found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at 43 seconds with round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Black Mamba! Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC flyweight division matchup. radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. Is he going to get a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. He blocks the punch. Just misses with a left hook there. Great punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Straight right, he misses. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Huge block there. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Straight punch lands. Big elbow there, lands. It's a good right hand right there. Oh! Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Just missed with the left there. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Nice punch to the head. Nice loop and punch. Leg kick checked nicely by Formiga. Just out of the range with that right hand. Formiga gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Big body kick land. Seconds to go. Yeah, 
And he's looking for that left hand, just right. missed. Look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights. All right, DC, second round is getting yeah, underway. Yeah, yeah. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. You have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Clocks the shot. And oh! in a world of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Try to establish that jab. Jab hurt him a little bit. Oh! So, oh. huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Leg kick. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Big kick lands. Attacking the body now, that shot blocked. Oh! oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a press. Oh, he's got a and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change, make him think he's going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. It's such a fast leg kick. Out of range with that one. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his confidence... Oh! Went for the inside leg kick. And this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rodeado is going to stop with this contest at four minutes, 33 seconds of round number two. You're playing the winner by knockout, Conflict Carolina! All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations. Coming up next, a UFC flyweight division matchup. Two of 
the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Just missed with that right hand. Nice punch lands over the top. Checks the leg kick. Now connects with the right. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Punch over the top. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Under two minutes now to go in the round. And he counters with a left hand. Can't take many of those, you better check. And a nice left hand there on the inside. That punch no good. He loaded up on that right hand too. What a tricky head kick. Fourth we go here. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. That one's up in. Nice strike. All right, there's the clapper. Ten seconds to go. Throws the right hand there. We now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, Chad? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. Johnson gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Ooh, blocks the shot. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Wow, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. What a punch. And the left kick there with conviction. <laughs> Ch 
just misses with the straight right. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. So, a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's going to stop to this contest at three minutes, six seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Alex Haran! Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out cold. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats. All right, coming up next, it's a flyweight tilt between T.J. Dillashaw and Tim Elliott. You ready? So the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick and fight at Gordon in Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we have seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers. Last week. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded. They have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight in this key matchup. Oh, that right hand is on point. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Oh! Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Yeah, we're just getting going, and now the fight's over. But excellent striking technique to land that shot and ultimately finish the fight here in the first. You've heard us say it before, but sometimes when you catch a guy cold before he's had a chance to get going in the fight, it can have a bigger effect. It certainly did here tonight. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at 52 seconds of the very first round. We're playing the winner by knockout, T.J. Dillashaw. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC flyweight division matchup. Are you ready? Are you ready? Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a game it's on either side when you break down the field. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Ooh! Huge kick lands again. Oh, and he 
connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like that. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Just out of range with that right hook. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Under three minutes, remain in round one. Right, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Shot to the body is blocked. Ninety seconds now to go in the round. He's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Dodson. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Under a minute to go in our opening round. Big punch land. Ooh. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for John Dodson. Just misses with the jab there. Right on the button. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Johnson gets lit up by that straight punch. Horn sounds for the end of round one. So there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Avoid the run. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Back and forth we go. Punch is blocked. Got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landing. Oh, that even hurts to watch. Huge kick to the body. So he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Dodson gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. 
And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws his punch. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Great punch, landed with so much power. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that pitch. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Big kick. And the horn sounds on round two. the end of the round we'll show you some of the highlights it must feel pretty damn good to knock a man down like that it feels good to knock a man down and most times you don't even feel it it's the ones that you don't even recognize that landed hard are the ones that usually put your opponent out it landed right on the sweet spot and he hurt his opponent very badly Continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, oh. Oh, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. His leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. Oh, that is as big a strike as he Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Looking to set up a knee of his own. Nice defense there, huge block. Just over. Oh. Oh, he gets up. The question is for how long? Oh, man, that's a nice, nice kick right there. Kick. He's, He's doing a great job of kicking over and over again. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Good punch. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh! Massive kick to the body, lands flush. That one is going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> All right, time to go to the gas station, TC. These fighters are cooked, my man. They have thrown everything but the kitchen sink. Oh, oh. Oh, that was effective a straight punch as we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, four seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, John the Magician! So there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive...
massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory. Coming up next, a UFC flyweight division matchup. to Southpaw. Nice strike. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and... The damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll. As you watch the opponent walking gingerly on his leg, and one big tell that you're starting to really do well with your leg kicks is when your opponent starts to switch stances. Right. Watch for a stance switch very soon. Ooh, big shot Ooh. lands. Ooh, shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, massive kick to the body. Oh, straight right. Get right here. Wild attempt with the right hand there. attempt but unable to land he is all about that left kick to the body that's a big strike right there ten seconds now in round one horn out for the end of round one all right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. Blocked. 
Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Oh, and that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. Merciful. Winner by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. So a big win for him here tonight and an even bigger statement made by virtue of the TKO. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called the stop in this contest at one minute, two seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, Conflict Kalafa! Well, there he is, the man of the hour. And you gotta think this dude's gonna get a serious Instagram push tonight after the win by TK. Oh, he's gonna get a massive push because he hurt his opponent and he pressed his foot down in the gas until he got that finish. That was amazing. Oh, and that is it. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC flyweight division matchup. as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big leg kick lands. Nice. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Sure it 
goes into the books as a first round win by knockout, near perfect execution. The technique was absolutely gorgeous. And again, when you catch a guy early, maybe you're getting him cold before he's had a chance to work up a sweat or even get into the fight a little bit, those strikes can have a bigger effect, and it certainly did here tonight. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliot has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 13 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, TK Dillashaw! Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. Are you going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight. Coming up next, a UFC flyweight division matchup. Other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's gonna be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. It's a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Good stick. here, the right punch followed immediately up by a left. Spring, spring, spring. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, effective strike there by Dodson. Just over three minutes now to go. Kick. If you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Big ball from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Just out of range with that right hand. Punch coming, it's blocked. <laughs> Under two minutes to go in our first round. Wow. Misses again with a right punch. And he lands a punch there, pretty good connection by him. Great connection, he's in a That's great flow right now. Had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he lands. Great job. Nice leg kick. Oh! Oh! Fantastic strike to throw at the exact. Oh! Wow! What a fight! 30 seconds now to go in the round. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. How about those five minutes? Okay. 
All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Okay, you ready? Round two. You ready? Let's Round two you. underway. Dodson's kick to the body is blocked. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Real quick leg kick. by John Dodson. but neither guy be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 49 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, John the Magician Dodson! So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined. It is a flyweight championship fight between TJ Dillashaw and John Dodson. watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over. Unbelievable. Woo! Yeah, we're just getting going, and now the fight's over, but excellent striking technique to land that shot and ultimately finish the fight here in the first. You've heard us say it before, but sometimes when you catch a guy cold before he's had a chance to get going in the fight, it can have a bigger effect. It certainly did here tonight. And there he is, the UFC flyweight champion, and he got it done with style points here tonight by virtue of the KO. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 35 seconds in the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and stand.
All right, so there he is, the still UFC flyweight champion of the world. He's brought a lot of attention to this division, and a successful title defense is going to do nothing to sort of slow that roll. They say the smaller you get, the tougher MMA becomes because everyone is so skilled. This man stands atop the smallest division, but with some of the greatest athletes in the entire UFC. Congratulations to the champion.